I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this easy crochet flower applique. It's just a sweet little simple flower with five petals and it's worked with a little bit of worsted weight yarn. In the video today I'm going to be using a little bit of 100% cotton but you can use of course any fiber blend that you would like. Uh, you're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and then a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for finishing off. So thank you so much for joining me. The free written pattern for this tutorial will be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and the direct link will be provided in the description of this video for you. So we'll set these aside. This is a very quick little flower to make so I'm going to make the entire thing uh, today in this video. What we're going to do is we're going to start by making a magic ring and if you have trouble with the magic ring another option for you is to chain two and then to work into that second chain from your hook. So you're going to start by making your magic ring and to make my magic ring I just simply cross over like I would be doing for a slip, uh, a slip knot and then I pull up a little bit of the yarn through without pulling it tight. Hold on to my ring so it doesn't slip and I'm ready to go. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to, and this flower is only two rounds, you're going to chain one and you're going to work five single crochet stitches into the center of your ring. There's one, two, three, four, and five. You can, at this time, pull your ring closed and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. The second round will be the round where we work our flower petals. The first petal is going to work in the same stitch as you're joining. You're going to chain one, work two double crochet stitches into that same stitch. There's one and two. Then slip stitch down into the same stitch as those double crochets. That's your first petal made. You're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, work two double crochet stitches into that same stitch, Slip stitch down into the same stitch. That's your second pe petal made. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain one. Work two double crochet stitches. Slip stitch down into the same stitch. Slip stitch into the next single crochet stitch chain one, work two double crochets into the same stitch. This is your fourth petal and slip stitch down into the same stitch as your double crochets. Slip stitch into the next single crochet, chain one, work two double crochet stitches, slip stitch down into that same stitch as your double crochets and fasten off by simply pulling the yarn through your loop, trimming your end and pull it all the way through. You can then go and tighten your magic ring to bring your center together. And then depending on what you're doing with this applique, you're going to want to either weave in your ends and trim them off or you might leave them long so that you can use them to attach your little flower to your crochet project. So that's all there is to working this really easy small flower applique and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends if you've had fun, and of course don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again and until then happy crocheting! Bye!